Hey guys, we are live. It's Ted Bogert back with the Ted Show. Uh, I'm excited to have this young gentleman on the show, Istvan Barath. Hello. And we're going to talk about branding and we're going to talk about how important branding is. And um, we're going to bring some value. To, he's going to bring some value to your day by sharing his insights and his nuggets. So welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? Hi, Ted. Thank you for inviting me. Pleasure to be I'm, here. I'm excited to have you. I love anybody who wants to come on and talk about branding. Hey, Shirley. I love anybody who's affiliated with Corey. Uh, so, you know, you, you have a lot to share and I'm very excited about it. Let's start with you. Give us a little bit of your background. Yeah, Corey is amazing. I will, I will come back to him as well, as well as other people. So, yeah, we are talking about branding from the heart. Um, I tell you how I got to LinkedIn and how basically what well, was the idea behind to be on LinkedIn and stuff. Sure. So basically, I think it was one and a half years ago, I was sitting in my living room and I was thinking maybe I should do a video. The very first video ever in my life. I was so scared. I, Why were you scared? I don't know. I was like from the reaction, from the people's opinion, you know, but since then... I don't really mind <laughs> other people's <laughs> opinion, but I knew I need to, you know, cross this in order to sort of grow personally. Right. So I, I shared my, my story. And since then, I think I made like a hundred video. So a lot. And um, basically I shared my story, how I got to England in to London about eight years ago, how I, grabbed my bag and 200 pounds and then start a completely new life by myself. Why did you start? Basically. Where did you come from that you started a new life? Because I was in Hungary. I, I had a sort of established and broken life. And then I had to go and restart my life in a completely new country, which was the UK. Ah. So new language, new environment. New oh, hello. circumstances. Everything was new. Why did and you just want to get out? Was the economy not good? Is that what it was? Or it was more, I think it was more economical and personal reasons. And then a friend just offered me like a flat to stay, and then I, I just went for it. And since then it was a long time ago, eight years ago. Yeah, I, I have a family now. Yeah, my daughter was born in the UK. So yeah, things uh, changed. You have changed your life. Now, how, what did you, did you always want to be a branding person or is that something you just learned along the way? To be honest, I, I learned this along the way. I branded myself. That's why I wanted to give the title branding from the heart because I built this up from the, from the heart, from my button of my heart. And uh, I always try to implement this into to the branding sort of terminologies you know how did you get into mix. how did you get into branding well i met um lots of people on in on linkedin for example cory warfield uh, lorana acosta shane wallace people who i who i respect a lot and um they kind of mentoring me. They were kind of mentoring me how to, what is a brand and, you know, what to stand for as a brand and how to learn your brand. So how to establish yourself as a brand. So basically, in my opinion, everything, all of your emotions is connected to your brand. All of your, all of what you believe in is your brand. Yes. And you need to express this to your audience. And if you do it, let's say for you do it for money, for uh, in a corporate way, you need to find this in the corporate world as well. So you need to find those attributes in the corporate actual you know company. So what do you do when you're when you're when you're telling somebody or teaching somebody how to brand? Uh, what do you, what are the first things that you talk about? I I haven't worked with so many companies yet. Basically, you know, I, I have just started. But I was 
I am part of the marketing team for Shadwool with Corey. Right. Corey Borfield. And also, I'm part of the marketing team with Shane Wallace, you know, work app. I think you have seen me a lot regarding that one. And right. So when you have a client, what are the what are some of the first things that you talk to them about when they're talking about branding and marketing? I think the very first thing to talk about is what are the core values basically what they are what they want what they are we need to understand them first and then we can see how they can express this to the world how they can what sort of strategy they need to use in order to to reach the next level of of uh, growth or so what do you do it depends it depends on the stage what do you do? Let's say we're talking about your brand and your core values. How? What examples can you give them of things that you do to um, express that? Hmm. Because that's that's actually really important. I agree with you. It's you've got to be able to express it, or nobody's going to understand what your brand exactly. is. Exactly. So, what do you do as as a as a marketing branding person? I I find um, differences between let's say personal branding because i am doing my personal brand so i know what are my values for example honesty integrity authenticity but at the same time it requires you as a company as well if you if you want to do the same thing but it's sort of different if you do in a corporate level or personal level because you have a person let's say you Ted, you want to do your personal brand. You have a well-established right. personal brand, which is you. Right. But then you need to identify the person values. And I think if you can do that, you are on, on the, you know, you are just the question of designing and and um, consistency and stuff. So... And so what do you there. think, what do you think somebody who says, because you've got a nice... Um, you're on LinkedIn, that's your primary, I believe, that's your primary social media platform. Why is that platform important to you? For me, because that was the platform where I started. That was where I managed to grow. For example, on Facebook, I find it hard to, still really hard to organically grow. As well as on TikTok or Instagram, it's easier. Right. I feel like LinkedIn, the people are more open. Is that what you... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And positive. People are more positive and they are, let's say, sorry to say that, but they don't have much, many trolls. <laughs> right. That's well, LinkedIn, we is, LinkedIn tends to be a little more um, uh, business oriented. So you get a little bit of a, little bit of a better uh, mm. client that reaches out to you. I just find LinkedIn to be very inclusive. So mm -hmm. I love that you, you built your brand. So what's next for you? What do you want to do uh, with Shedwool and beyond? Well, I'm working on lots of things. So we are working on Shedwool, trying to expand, obviously, the whole world. And the same with Work App. But is it, is it, is it isn't two new continents. So basically, one is in the USA, one is in Australia. So yeah. It's interesting. Are you planning to travel with those both those positions? One of my dreams to travel to the US um, and to Australia. Obviously, I've got invited, but still, I haven't managed to to go. Obviously, the situation didn't allow me yet to to fly anywhere right now. Where but are you at? Now? Tell people where you're at. I am in Hungary, in East Hungary. You are in East Hungary. In a little village. Yeah. Staying with the relatives, my wife and my daughter. That's why I'm from my car, because there's lots of people around me. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I understand. All right. What have you done? I ask every guest this. What have you done to um, stay calm, stay creative, stay positive during the lockdown? Watching lots of inspirational videos. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yeah, it's part of it. And as well as reading. And, you know, I like to read. I like to learn from TikTok, surprisingly. I know it's surprising you, but... No, you know what? They found cool platform. ways. Yeah, they found cool ways to um, 
to be to talk about things on TikTok rather than it be just demonstration. I actually I, I've seen that. I've heard people say the same thing. I haven't done my first TikTok video yet. I'm waiting, um, but it's I'm definitely going. It's unbelievable but, how how many hours we can spend on TikTok because obviously there are um, type of videos when it's funny, but then for example, if you put entrepreneur into the search you right. will get all the people teaching you and educating you for free yeah. regarding entrepreneurship or whatever video videography or photography so you can actually learn a lot for free and at the same time you build engagement you comment you, you put a few videos um love it all right so, so yeah. what's the best way for somebody to reach out to you how can they reach you anywhere I am on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, and uh, yeah, more things to come. But for now, that, that's everything, the way. everything under your name is fun. I, I have a company page on LinkedIn called Robo Venture. It's a tech educational site. We have a my friend and I, we do like uh, education for children and we sort of trying to document it. Awesome. And uh, yeah, there's lots of things going on. Now I joined to a video production company called Visual App, which based in Budapest, the capital of Hungary. So I will be their sales manager. Wonderful. So we're going to do videos for people and for small and medium businesses, personal brand, branders. So yeah, it's a lot of things. Um, I'm not bored awesome. at all. All right. All right. So uh, you guys reach out to Istvan. He obviously has a great perspective. He works with a whole bunch of amazing mm -hmm. companies. Um, I enjoyed it, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ted, for inviting me. Absolutely. Absolute pleasure. All right, guys, reach out. You know, you want to get to the mm -hmm. heart of how you can brand from the heart. <laughs> and that's what I want everyone to do. Dear all right. Everyone. Thank you. Take Thanks care. so much, guys. All right. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye, -bye.